Now, we all have that one outfit that we mean. But did you know that with every outfit, it sends a message? The outfits are pretty simple and straightforward in Dying Light. So it makes sense that everybody likes it for the same reason, right? Whether you agree with me or not, you gotta keep in mind that these are stereotypes. Also with these outfits, it's gonna focus the PvP side of Dying Light, cause fuck PvE. Some will be accurate and others not so much. With the only exception being the Bozak mask and the dirty clothes. As well as the ones associated with them and the fresh clothes. Because, oh my god, just wait till I get to them. So without further ado, let's get started. Starting us off, it's gonna be the athlete outfit. People wearing these outfits are really rare to find in higher levels. I wouldn't count people who main this outfit when they're lower levels because they probably don't even know how to disable invasions. But besides that, these people are really fun to play with. They don't take the game seriously. It's funny because a lot of bullshit really happens to these people. These people actually think they're bullies, but in reality, they're just every average DL player using scummy ass tactics. Oh yeah, and look at what happened when I was using this outfit. These are my favorite outfits. I decided to save them for the B drop because fuck your outfits. Nobody but me wears this unironically. If you put this on, it's because you feel sad that nobody else wears it. But it's okay, Haran fighters. I know you exist. Oh my god, the fresh clothes users, dude. These guys are like pigeons. They use fully automatic, unlimited ammo shotguns. They don't know what they're doing. They're just spamming left click. Legit, these are the pigeons of Haran. Ah yes, the juggernauts. These people just finished the game and they're trying out PvP. That or they think all the armor on this outfit makes them take less fall damage. And for some reason they know a lot of good combos. These people always run with a quiet dagger. It's either that or because of Bracken's overused quote. What the fuck, Crane? I'm no leader. I'm a goddamn parkour instructor. We saw all the free running. I just want to say real quickly, rest in peace all my punk mains out there because Techland got rid of the mask and now Crane just looks all retarded. These people are always using a military rifle. I don't know why, they, I guess they just feel safe with it. Uh, it's like candy to them, they're like a little baby and that's their candy. You can't take it away from these people. And if you do, they'll most likely start crying. <sighs> Personally, I think this outfit would have looked a lot cooler if it had a mask on it. Custom maps must have really rubbed off you, eh? The only reason I wear this outfit sometimes is because Crane looks like a rapper. Only the developers use this outfit. Get it on Rocky, you fucking ring him, he's supposed to be dead. <laughs> I'm supposed to be dead for 17 years, yet shit. Uh, I didn't really look at you. Aw, uh, am I gonna get. Oh my god, I'm slicing, dude. I didn't mod on your dice, I thought you liked it. Uh, I have a mod for zombies. It's annoying. Oh! Uh. Oh! Oh! Shit. <laughs> oh! Shit! Oh! Don't even say anything, dude. Don't even oh. say anything. Let's your killer drone inbound. <laughs> God damn. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I hiccup I hiccup and burped at the same time, bro. Holy what the God fuck? damn. <laughs> bro. <Sorry. laughs> you crash my shit. I hope one day I do crash someone because of that. If you wear this outfit, you're either a girl gamer, or those who are Spinoza wannabes. And, if you think that the silent footsteps actually cause a difference, you're just an idiot. For people who use this outfit, they only go for drop kicks, And boy do they hit them. They hit insane drop kicks to the brink where you might think they're modded. And some of them might be. 
If there's any outfit to show how disconnected Techland is to their community, it has to be this one. This outfit prepares you to fight the Night Hunter, but it's such a shit one, it makes you stand out in everything. It looks really cool, don't get me wrong, it's one of my favorites, but people who use this outfit don't fight the Hunter seriously like Techland wants you to do. If anything, they're one of the funnest people I've ever played with, and yeah, it just shows how disconnected we are. You guys know that one kid that tries too hard to be intimidating, but just for the life of him can't be? Yeah, that kid is the one who makes the survivor outfit. These people are mostly Russian, but don't be surprised if they aren't. Shit, man, I don't know how to say this. Um, look, Colossal Kiwi, I, you may or may not be watching this, I know you watch some of my videos. But people who wear this outfit don't know who you are. I can't really blame them because Techland kind of just randomly names their outfits. I mean, even me when I first wore this outfit, I didn't even know who you were. These people call themselves one of the biggest Dying Light fans. But they don't even know that PvP exists. And the same goes for the quote unquote Haran veteran. This is the outfit you see in most console montages, which is pretty sad because this is one of my top 5 favorite outfits. What do you mean a military rifle? What shotgun? Uh, I mean, I know there's a crossbow in the game, but look man, the last wish is the only gun in the game, you're crazy. <sighs> I don't think I could postpone it anymore. I already covered the somewhat decent players, but now? We're gonna go into uncharted territory. We're going into no man's land. And I'm not gonna be wearing the outfits that I'm talking about because unlike them, I'm at least somewhat fun at parties. So look, please, fasten your seatbelts. Cause I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible and I'm gonna be as brutal as I can. So, here's a warning. It's your last chance to leave because I'm gonna be picking a fight with all these people. <laughs> if you wear any of the mask outfits besides the Colossal Kiwi one, because we already talked about that one, then all the sweat from your Bozak mask outfit must have really finally gotten to you, and so you're switching from it until you can wear it again when it dries off. But it's not just the Bozak people switching to this outfit. There's also noobs trying to go for sick ass kills but they always mess it up so they have to settle. If you use any of the outfits I'm clicking on when it comes to the collectible outfits, well then you're trying way too fucking hard to be different. But you're not, you're still a sweaty little shit. If you use these three outfits, give your ass a fucking break with all that backsliding you're doing. Fucking hell, you want the pavement to anal fuck you or some shit? And it looks even worse when you have your tribal axe out while you're doing it. People who use the national outfits could literally be anything. Hey, and Techland, that's the Salvadorian outfit, yeah? Like, come on, show your boy some love. If you wear the gun cycle outfit, you look just as ugly in real life. And I bet you're Russian too. And the exact same shit applies to those who also wear the Badland outfit. Those who wear the fucking chicken outfit think they're funny or are accomplishing something. But people with two or more brain cells could see that they aren't. I don't have all the legend outfits because I'm not that high of a level yet. But if you wear any of them, you're just a sweaty little shit that hasn't seen sunlight in years. Shit, I don't blame your mom for trying to avoid you. But rarely, just rarely, some of these people are chill. No dumbass, the Dragon G doesn't do two-handed damage already, shut the fuck up. These little fucking DFA camper sidekick of a Bozak massacre piece of shit. If you see this guy, just leave, it'll give him the satisfaction of fighting a hunter. Because he's gonna turn that fucking frown upside down. Plus there's a rumor going around that these people also use a fucking bag over their head in real life. Cause they are that fucking insecure. These guys also hang out with the Bozak dick suckers. And these guys are pissed, probably mad because they can't afford the Rises bundle. That way because in the picture it shows them with white pants, but in first person he has camo pants. For whatever reason they're mad for, just leave, don't give these guys the satisfaction. Okay, I think I got all of them, but there's just two more. The last two. These guys are what changed Dying Light for the worse. If I didn't cover yours and it was the Urban Explorer for example, it's because not a lot of people use them. Either that or because the people who did use them just weren't as interesting. But enough wasting time. Let's start with the dirty clothes. This shit means a lot. If you're an OG player and you know how Dying Light changed for the worse, then this image should piss you off. Because these guys are the major hackers. They are the one who brought mods into DL. They are the ones who did all just everything. They're the ones who came up with the crash items and shit. And not only that, it's dirty clothes 
could be an illusion sometimes. Because if you have a modded outfit that no one else does, then for the person who doesn't have it, you come up as the dirty clothes. You don't trust these fuckers. But it's not just the dirty clothes, it's the some old bones as well. For some reason, it carries on to this outfit as well. I have no fucking idea why it comes here, but it just does. These two are the biggest fucking modders and hackers of DL. <sighs> Okay, I got that one done with. About fucking time someone addressed it. Now it's time for the fucking worst of the worst. The one that's been here since the very fucking beginning of Dying Light. Before mods, before hacks, before eggnog, before anything. The fucking Bozak mask. You don't even have to be an OG player to know about this one. These guys are the epitome of sadness. They're the lowest of the fucking low. I don't know why they still take this game so fucking seriously. And if you're wearing the Bozak pet, you just forgot to put on the mask since you can't even see it in first person. You can't even tell if you have it on or off. These guys are so fucking sweaty. You can see the sweat pouring out of your monitor, not theirs. Because they sweat so much it leaks over to you. It's so fucking sad that the mask itself is crying. And some people actually worship this shit, man. And it's not just randoms and noobs that use this outfit. Big top dog players also use it as well. These guys aren't scary or intimidating like they're trying to be. They always blame legit shit on lag, but they don't know that dying light PvP comes with delays, so it looks like there's a little bit of lag. That's just how it is. And it's always been like that since day one. Or they use all sorts of exploits. They want you to follow this made-up survivor rule book that they made up legit all the fucking time if they die to a bomber on the ground legit they will call out telebomber for no fucking reason but to stay alive because they're trying so hard they treat a fucking biter like if their life depends on it they will go as far as using a medieval shield so they could see better you can't do something as bad as the gp spit to them but they will do something 10 times worse and expect you to live with it but i think you get the idea look i would love to start a revolution against these pieces of shit but it's impossible. So, all I'm gonna say is that if you see these guys, or the ones I mentioned previously because they're associated with them, just don't give them the satisfaction. Just fucking leave. Just, just do it, trust me. You'll thank me later.